Hello and welcome back to Eminent in a Minute. I'm your host, Fox RG. Thanks for joining us. Today with me is Eminent streamer, Revo Law Warrior, with our weekly Eminent news update. So, Revo, welcome to Eminent. I guess our Twitter beef is now over since you joined Eminent. So, why don't you tell us about yourself and about your stream? Uh, I'm glad to be on amending the Twitter beef. Um, <laughs> a little about myself is uh, I've played Warrior for... Uh, like six or seven years now, um, since like season thirteen, season fourteen, um, and I've gotten uh, you know a bunch of a bunch of rank one titles and played it for a long time as my main class, and and I really would never never play a different class. I, I love the warrior, you know, the way the the class works and, and the functionality, and and it's been my favorite class ever since I started playing it. Right on. What comps do you normally play as a warrior? Uh, I'm more of a cleave player, so I play a lot of um, like melee cleaves, rep warrior, um, kitty cleave, uh, or hunter cleaves like KFC is one of the first comps I ever played. Uh, I play a little bit of caster healer I have in the past, but I I'm more of like a cleave player. I like playing cleaves. I like the fast paced environment and, and you know big pressure. So that's primarily what I play. Right on. I, I played warrior for a bit. I didn't really like it, so I went back to my caster. So I wouldn't know how that felt. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a new segment on the show called One Buff, One Nerf. Uh, what, it, what it entails is pretty much what do you want to see a buff and what do you want to see a nerf? So that could be class specific or that could be the game in general. What is your take on this? Um, sure. So I think uh, as far as like a buff, uh, I would like to see, and they're kind of doing this already coming in the new patch, is seeing um, covenants that are underperforming being buffed. Because I think I consider myself pretty lucky as a warrior, and I think a lot of people don't have this, is that three of the covenants for warrior are, are viable, two of them are exceptional. And with the new patch, I think that they're going to buff the weakest one, which is Necrolord, up to being, I would say, definitely a viable, possibly one of the better ones. Um, which on. means that warriors have four viable covenants, right? There's some classes that have one or no viable covenants or like no particularly spectacular covenants. And I think that if if they buff the underperforming covenants for those other classes, I think you see a lot more variety and a lot more, uh, it'd be a lot more fun to watch, to play, to play against because things aren't gonna be as one dimensional and, and stale if everybody's the same covenant all the time, right? So I think that would be really cool. Right on. Buff, sure. What's your take on a nerf? What would you like to see nerfed? As far as nerfs go, I think something that is kind of like a blanket thing, and I've already touched on this a little bit, I think that mana regen for a couple healers in particular should be looked at, um, because I think that I think that Disc Priest mana should be the baseline for where most classes are at. Uh, so Arshan mana and even Holy Pally mana a little bit at this point is still a little higher to compare to like Disc Priest, for example, or Mistweaver. Um, Mistweaver has other issues, but I think that... that bring the mana regeneration down for all these classes will make the drink meta a little bit more important make you know stopping drinks getting drinks um, being aware of positioning so that you can make those happen or stop those from happening uh, and bring the game time down away from dampening every game um, especially in like the tournament meta I think it's pretty pretty like I, we should lean towards that we should try to go for shorter games we should we should be looking for um making you know like i said dispriest the baseline i think in my opinion right on i mean you kind of have a bias since you are running uh your turbo cleaves or your cleave comps mm -hmm. right <laughs> i yeah i think anything with immortal strike probably has a little bit of a bias so that's why i probably am but <laughs> no, but it makes sense it totally makes sense mm -hmm. so as a pvp here how do you feel about the reintroduce or reintroduction of wad's pvp gearing system so with WAD PvP and gearing system, there was two item levels, one being PvP, so it's scaled up, and the real PV or the real item level. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think it's a great thing that they're bringing that back. Uh, I think it, and I've talked about this on my stream as well, is that I think this is a change that's uh, not necessarily even directed at PvPers as much as it is at, as at PvEers, right? Um, because we, I think, I personally, I know, and a lot of people are really satisfied with the current gearing system. Uh, it's great. It's much better than it's been in a, a long time, right? A very long time. And uh, I think that the change that they're going to make to make it towards wad gearing system is going to help prevent um, PVEers from being 
you know, jealous of our system or, or wanting our system changed um, because it's affecting especially top tier raiders, right? Um, being able to target gear specifically, being able to guarantee a piece, a useful piece every week or every other week um, with Conquest is something that uh, I think Valor is going to start to address, but I think that making this system more like WAD is going to be better for us to keep our system completely intact, not have to PVE for gear. PVEers won't feel obligated to PVP for gear, uh, and it'll be just a better system overall. I think it's it's a great change. I think that's that's really exciting. I feel like if they brought back tier sets for raids, it would be almost on par with our gearing system. How as far as that? yeah, yeah, I think it, I think. It could definitely have potential to be closer to our gearing system if you're talking about PVE gearing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think I think that that I think that's that would be good. I think the Valor is going to start to address like the the targeted gear issue as well as as you know them having a system different than ours. I think both those changes would be would definitely be advantageous. All right, Revo, thank you for coming on to Eminent in a minute. Where can we find you? Uh, I stream at, at twitch.tv slash Revo LOL Warrior. Um, usually once or twice a week, sometimes three or four times a week. I just kind of try to stream when I have games and, and bring content that's interesting. All right. Thank you. That's it for this week's video of Eminent in a Minute. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for weekly videos, as well as make sure you follow and subscribe to Revo Law Warrior on Twitch. His information will be in the description down below. That is it. Eminent in a Minute. We signing off. See ya.